Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to this overview of the Animation Nodes plugin for Blender. Animation Nodes is a fantastic motion graphics tool that is Blender's answer to Cinema 4D's MoGraph. The thing is, there are a lot of motion graphic effects that you could never even hope to animate by hand, simply because it would be way too tedious, or because there are just way too many moving pieces. So what Animation Nodes actually allows us to do is it allows us to rig up very complex actions to somewhat simple animatable controls. Now, the old way of doing it would be using something called drivers. Now, drivers worked by linking a property, such as the Z rotation of an object, to a control, uh, such as the Y position of another object. So that as you move one along the Y axis, the other object rotates along the Z axis. Pretty simple. The problem with using this method in Blender is that it doesn't scale very well. But when you're setting it up, it's hard to tell which properties are linked to what. It usually involves bouncing between numerous menus and screens as you set all the drivers, which is fine just as if you want to make some gears move, but when you start to get in more in-depth motion graphics, this method tends to be way more trouble than it's worth. And that's why Animation Nodes is so exciting. Animation Nodes is a node-based editor that, at its base, allows you to simply let an input control an output. For a very simple example, I could easily take a current frame number and link it to the Z rotation of a cube making the cube spin as the animation goes on. So when the animation is on frame number one, it sets the rotation to one degree. And when it's on frame number two, it sets it to two degrees and so on. But if you ask me, this cube is spinning kind of slow. So let's fix this. Not only can you link an input to an output, but you can also modify the values in between. So in order to make the cube spin faster, I'm gonna add in a multiply node in the middle and multiply it by five. So now it's taking the frame number and it's multiplying it by five, then plugging that into the Z rotation. Meaning that when it's on frame number one, it's actually plugging five into the Z rotation. And when it's on frame number two, it's actually plugging 10 into the Z rotation, causing the cube to spin five degrees at once instead of just one, causing it to spin faster. Again, this is a very simple example, but with just a few more nodes, we can make it so that the distance from an object affects the size of multiple objects or practically any effect we want. So Animation Nodes doesn't come with Blender by default, so the first thing we have to do is install it. This can be done by going to the Animation Node GitHub, I'll put the link in the description. Once there, we click Clone or Download, and download it as a zip file and save that wherever we want. Next, we are going to open up Blender, go to File, User Preferences, and under the Add-ons tab, we are going to click Install from File, and find the zip file that we just downloaded. Once that's done, simply check the box next to the add-on, click Save User Preferences, and we're good to go. If we open up the Node Editor, we can see the new Animation Nodes tab right at the bottom. And in the next part, we will be setting up our very first Animation Nodes project, so I will see you then.